Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to have you here with me today to show you my Amazon jewelry collection. And this is jewelry that I've collected over the past couple of months. I had all silver tone jewelry and as everyone knows, gold tone is definitely already here. I was gonna say it's on its way in, but gold tone is really in and it happens to be what looks good on me. So after all these years of wearing silver, I'm going to switch to wearing at least some gold jewelry. And so I will be showing you my absolute favorite pieces, most of which are 12 to $15. They're not expensive, and I think they are beautiful, beautiful quality. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you consider subscribing. And if you click that notification bell, you'll get email notifications of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great too. Okay, let's get into this. And I didn't know how to show you this stuff, so I'll just kind of start with the group that I have on and show it to you. I guess I'll start with these earrings, and I love these earrings. I know that sounds overstated, but look how rich they look. They are gold twisted hoops with CZ stations all through, and they look so rich and so real. And that's what I like about a lot of this jewelry is that it really does look classic and real. It's quite believable. And you know, I had a girlfriend in my 20s. We had grown up together and she married this ship captain, amazingly enough. They lived down in Texas and she always looked so rich. And in your 20s, at least in our group, none of us were really rich. So I was like, how do you afford all that expensive gold and diamond jewelry? And she's like, Beth, it's CZs. Nobody knows the difference. And I got a lesson from Laura Nelson. That's Laura Nelson. She's absolutely one of my most fashionable friends to date, but you don't have to be rich to look expensive. So anyway, that was a lesson to me. And then I really like this little set here. This is a set, which is I think around $12, which is a little initial pendant set. Of course, that happens to be a B since my name is Beth but you would get your initial and then this little paperclip necklace comes with it. And I think that is just sterling and layered necklaces are really in right now. This is a little bevel herringbone chain and it is also very inexpensive on Amazon. And I love it that those 80s styles are kind of coming back again, 80s and 90s. The bevel herringbones just have so much glitter and gleam. And I think it is so beautiful to layer those. And on my hands, I have this great gold ring, which is a stacked gold ring. I hope you can see that. There it is. It is absolutely just a rich, expensive looking, real gold looking ring. Very, very pretty. You just order your size. And then on this hand, I have a little yellow gold David Yerman alike bracelet, which is I think very rich looking. And as you can see there, it just looks like you have gold and diamonds, which is great. And then here is a little classic cable David Yerman alike that has again, the CZ center station and the gold braid. And then on this hand, I have this great yellow and white two-tone watch, absolutely beautiful. And I have it flanked by something I just got yesterday, but which I love, which is I think about a $12 little classic tennis bracelet, but it has the rectangular stones in it, the rectangular CZs, which I think is just beautiful. And you can't really see it maybe on camera, but it absolutely looks real. It glitters and gleams. Look how that looks with that watch. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, here's the next kind of yellow gold set. And of course these aren't in sets, but I had to find some way to show them to you. So I sort of organized them in sets, but look at these absolutely gorgeous necklaces. And the last initial necklace, the little B, was very delicate. And if you like delicate, you would probably prefer that but I like big and bold and I really just love this. To me, it looks like a bar of gold or something like that. And this is very rich looking, nice big bail there. And then that lovely shiny gold initial, absolutely beautiful. And then here is another paperclip necklace, again, a little more bold. And this is an absolutely gorgeous, shiny gold bevel herringbone. And it's 18 karat gold over silver, I think. And it is more expensive. It's got like five coats or something like that and it is guaranteed for your lifetime. I'll put a link below to all of this jewelry, including this, but I read the reviews and several people said they wore it every day, every night in the pool. You know, it never turned black or anything like that. And they really just loved it, but it is guaranteed. And I think that is just beautiful altogether. And if this one is a little too Mr. T for you, a little too bold, I've also listed another smaller bevel herringbone down below which I think this is a five millimeter, but that's very delicate and very pretty. And that would definitely be an option with that. 
And these earrings are absolutely some of my favorite. In fact, I've bought them twice because I bought them once and I lost one, so I had to buy them again. But these are Anne Klein clip-on earrings. They're really very comfortable. I can wear them most of the day without any problems. And I just think they're a gorgeous classic style that pretty much goes with anything. And in fact, I might just wear them with this and then just this bevel herringbone here. I think that would be a very pretty look, but there is that look. And in terms of what I have on my arms, everything's about the same, except that I have a different watch on, and I'm hoping you can see that. It is an Invicta watch, which is very bold looking, has the CZs around the bezel, absolutely gorgeous, very rich looking. And my son, he said, that's a neat watch. And when I told him it was an Invicta, he seemed to be very impressed by that. So apparently that's a good brand. I love the gold band here. I love the gold CZs. I love the pretty gold face, the brush gold face, and it looks great with any kind of little tennis bracelet. And if you're like me, you may still have several tennis bracelets from years gone by in your jewelry box. And I would bring them out because they're great again to wear with watches. I think they are so pretty. Okay, now I have on some different earrings, different necklace and a different watch. These earrings are Nine West, very classic gold hoops, and they are just very sleek and they look very rich and they look very real and they're not, but I'm sure they will last a good long time. Nine West is a good brand. And then I have a little set here. This is a little narrow gold herringbone chain and it comes with this little set of gold baby beads. And I think those are just beautiful. And then look at this, I love this. This says 1982. And I actually saw this on a young YouTuber's channel and she had like 1997 on there and apparently that was her birth date. And I started to order 1958 and then I thought, no, I can't do that. So this is the year Alan and I were married. We've been married 40 years this year and I had two boys. I thought to put one of their birthdays on there, but then I thought, which one? So I put my marriage date on there and I think that is just really, really cool. Okay, that was a look at the necklaces and the earrings. And then I have this watch on and I can't get it to focus very well, but it is a beautiful gold mesh watch band with a white face and gold lettering. Very, very classy looking, very pretty and very reasonable in price. Sometimes I like these classic understated watches when you're going a little wild on your jewelry. I think that's very pretty. Okay, next I have a very blingy gold necklace to show you. And I feel like, like a Nubian princess or something in this, or an Egyptian princess. I think that is just beautiful. And for some reason on camera, it is not showing up as glowy as it really is in real life. It is really very, very shiny and very gorgeous. It's just rows and rows of beads and you can hang it from here down to like here. And I think this would be great on a round neck blouse or sweater. Absolutely beautiful. I have it with the simple hoop earrings and I just think that is gorgeous. And it also comes in silver. And I think these are like 12 bucks a piece. It's amazing. There's the silver one. Absolutely beautiful if you're a white gold silver type of girl. Okay, now I have another necklace to show you that is in the style of David Yerman. And there it is. Absolutely gorgeous. And it unclicks like this. Has a great metallic clasp. It just clicks together perfectly, just like that. Very upscale clasp and it looks like diamonds and 18 karat gold and it really is in the style of David Yerman. I know because I used to sell it on eBay for years and I have a ton of real David Yerman because I got it at very good prices but I also like the David Yerman look in yellow gold and believe me this necklace would be about $25,000 and I would never purchase something like that and that is a really beautiful necklace that is in the style of David Yerman. It doesn't exactly duplicate any of his pieces though which is really good. It's just kind of has that feel of David Yerman and look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And it has a magnetic clasp, which is really neat. It just, just clips and clips right back into place. And I didn't do it right. There we go. Ah, there we go. There, it clicked right into place. But I think that is absolutely beautiful. Very classy, very believable, very real looking. Okay, now that I mentioned David Yerman, I wanted to bring you some more pieces that really look very much like David Yerman. They are definitely in the style of David Yerman, which is what you want. You don't want exact copies because I don't think that's legal. But anyway, here are these gorgeous earrings. And these look very much like his, I believe it's called thoroughbred style. I'm not sure. I don't remember the name so much anymore. My memory is failing me, but look at that. It's little 
grades of gold and or silver and it also comes in just all silver absolutely darling and they're very lightweight on the ears which i really appreciate and then we have the silver looking version of the necklace that i showed you last time the gold necklace and i think i have it clipped right ah i don't there we go it's clipped right but absolutely beautiful it looks like silver and diamonds but it is cz's and some other metal i'm not sure what but then we get into the classic David Yurman looking pieces. And before I tell you about all these, I'll show you this gorgeous watch. Absolutely love this. This is a kind of understated looking Ellen Tracy watch that has the bezel setting and it has two tones, so it is very versatile. The band has a little bit of gold, a little bit of silver all woven through it. And then the face of it, the numbers are gold and then the bezel is silver, absolutely gorgeous. And then there is a David Yerman alike bracelet that I absolutely love that I think was around $12. It is in the style of the pearl tipped cables that David Yerman is so famous for, but this is actually a two tone little pearl tipped bracelet with little woven areas of gold and silver. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like gold and diamonds, but it is not, of course. There is another David Yerman alike bracelet that is a cable bracelet, and it is in the two tone gold and silver. Here is a smaller version, which imitates the five millimeter David Yerman bracelets with a single station that looks like diamonds, however it's not. And then here is another small cable bracelet, which is two-tone, and it is the style of the crosses, and there are three crosses on there. And each little cross has CZs in it, so it just has a little bit of sparkle. And this is the seven millimeter, very classic David Yerman cable bracelet and it has the gold tipped ends, very beautiful. And what I love about David Yerman's bracelets is that they're all designed to mix and match. Most of them have that little bit of cable on there. Absolutely gorgeous. I just love the look of a David Yerman alike bracelet, a cable bracelet with that watch. I think that is so pretty how that looks together. It just looks very, very rich and no one would ever know they weren't David Yerman unless like me, they sold them. And then I absolutely love this ring and I'm putting it over my face because that's what the camera focuses on is my face. I hope you can see that, but it is an absolutely beautiful ring that has a square station of Pave CZs surrounded by a gold frame and then the classic David Yerman alike cable around the outside. Absolutely beautiful. And you do have to buy that in your size. And I actually sized down on these David Yerman rings and also that gold ring earlier. I normally wear a size eight, but in both of these rings, I ordered a seven because since they're costume jewelry, they can't be sized. So do remember to maybe size down on the rings. Okay, next I have a few more David Yerman alike pieces to show you. These earrings are the little cable drop earrings and they are two-tone. You can see there's gold up here and then silver, gold, silver all the way down. And these are almost an exact copy of some David Yerman dangles that I personally own and I actually like these better. For some reason, they look more real, but they're not. But I think they're absolutely beautiful if you prefer the long kind of dangly earrings, very elegant looking. And I've just paired it with a simple silver herringbone. And this is a real silver herringbone and it was very reasonable. I think it was under $20, absolutely great. And I still have the same watch and the one pearl tip David Yerman alike there. And then on this hand, I have the companion version of the necklace I just showed you which is this lovely wide mesh David Yerman alike bracelet. It is very wide and it has the magnetic clasp and the CZ station in the middle there. And then I have it paired again with the same David Yerman alike chain link bracelet that I showed you before. It has a nice little clasp there, very, very pretty. And I have that David Yerman alike stunning ring, which I absolutely love. I think those earrings are darling, whether you like silver or gold for an evening out on the town, I think those would be wonderful. Okay, next I'm going to show you a silver tone set of jewelry. And these are Napier hoops. And I really like them because they're not round hoops. They are more of an oval shape. I don't know if you can see that. They're kind of long, almost rectangular looking hoops, but I think they're absolutely beautiful. And that tends to elongate your face and make it look slimmer. And then I have an actual sterling Omega chain on, and it was very reasonable in price. I can't remember right offhand, but I will of course link it below, but isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And I love the fact that it is real silver, absolutely beautiful. And then we have that paper clip style necklace that is so in, and that is in silver tone. And I just think that looks really pretty with it. And here I have just a basic Anne Klein watch. 
It has no bling on it. For those of you who really like things a little more classic, a little more understated, I hope you can see that watch. It is very classic, very plain, and very beautiful. Okay, I have another silver tone set here, and these are nine West earrings, and they are just gorgeous. They are just a little small hoop, kind of a hammered metal there. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I have a three-piece set here, and I like this because for 12 or 13 bucks, you can get all three pieces and really layer them and mix and match them. But there's a beautiful little disc necklace here, very shiny and silver, very beautiful. And then here is a middle necklace that just has one little single silver station on it, very delicate chains. And then it has the very important paperclip necklace at the top. And I just really, really like that necklace. And in the next shot, I'll show you how I would probably wear it. And let me know in the comment section below the video if you like it simpler just like that or a little bit more glammed up. Okay, here is how I would wear it. I added that silver herringbone chain, absolutely gorgeous, to that little set of three, really pretty, have the same earrings on. And I have a question for you. Are you liking right now better yellow tone jewelry or silver tone jewelry? Because right now we're in the process of changing from silver that we've had for 10 or 15 years to yellow gold. So let me know in the comment section if you like that. Also, let me know if you're more of a classic jewelry person or if you like things kind of trendy and a little bit blingy. Well, that was a look at some of my favorite jewelry picks from Amazon. That's basically all of my jewelry, my jewelry wardrobe that I've been wearing for about the past month. It was so much fun picking it all out. And the neat thing about Amazon is if you get it and it doesn't suit you, you can send it right back. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in everything that helps us look and feel our best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if possible. And if you're interested in all the things that help us look and feel our best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Life Loves You cards from Louise Hay. Okay, let's go ahead and choose hopefully a good card to think about for today. Ooh, this is a good one. I express my gratitude. I express my gratitude. It's a long one here. Make gratitude your spiritual practice today. Start with good morning bed. Thank you for being so comfortable. I love you. The more you express gratitude, the more you will find to be grateful for. Friends, I absolutely love this and it is something that I live my life by and that is the active practice of gratitude. Because in these trying times lately, it's easy to get lost in the negatives because there are quite a lot of them actually lately. But we all have things to be grateful for and it is very important for us to practice gratitude. And I love the suggestion here to get out of the bed in the morning and the first thing say, thank you bed, I love you. Because we are the lucky ones. We have a bed to sleep in, which is absolutely beautiful. And you know, just for today, as we go through our days, let's do this. Let's try to think of everything we can be grateful for. For instance, when we go to work, to go to our job, we can be grateful for the fact that we have a car. We have gas to fill our car with, although it is getting expensive, I have to admit. Uh, we have a job to go to. We have money coming in. We have people at our job that we enjoy being with. We have a nice desk. We have a nice outfit to wear to work. Let's just really actively practice being grateful today and expressing our gratitude for all the blessings we have in our lives. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.